Welcome, my name is Mark Upston, Senior Director of Product Management at Bentley Systems, and I'm responsible for defining and executing the business strategy, product, and market focus for offshore engineering simulation product lines here at Bentley. I have an extensive background in design, construction, and project management and power, process, plant, and building services projects before I made the shift to AEC infrastructure software industry more than 30 years ago. Today I'm going to show you a new digital twin solution from Bentley Systems which delivers big efficiency gains to reduce levelized cost of electricity while providing safer, less risky execution of offshore wind projects across the whole project life cycle from design to construction and operations and maintenance. So let's get started. So how can we save uh, on a digital twin solution to reduce our levelized cost of electricity? One area is design cost. And certainly if we introduce high performance computing to shorten the engineering analysis time is one way. Secondly, we could uh, introduce automated interoperable design workflows. And with the iTwin solution, we can easily uh, set up design reviews and collaborate amongst team members, contractors, anybody on the project. And with the advantage of having change management, we can push changes from our iTwin models. And Bentley has some very interesting cost-effective foundation solutions. On the construction side, if we introduce 4D construction simulation, we can actually have better sequence planning and scheduling on the project. And then moving into operation and maintenance, we can improve risk mitigation using a digital twin. We can also leverage augmented reality models for digital retrofit and maintenance. And then having a, a a high-end asset management system and in leveraging sensors, drones, and other data sources, we can monitor asset performance. And then we can extend the life of the turbine or platform and reduce maintenance costs by introducing a structural and mechanical integrity management system. So offshore wind has many technical challenges. For designing platforms, there are thousands of possible environmental and turbine load conditions we must design for. The effects of marine growth and corrosion and the consequences of impacts of ships or ice. Specifically for fixed structures we need to design the foundation piles to withstand the environment and the dynamic loads from the turbine and it's their interaction with the seabed conditions and how those structures will be installed. For floating structures, the most important thing is static stability and the dynamic coupling of the tower, the platform motions, and how best the mooring system is going to behave so it doesn't dangerously tip over. So let's hear from Bentley's Chief Product Officer, Bupinder Singh, on what is a digital twin. A digital twin is a digital representation of a physical asset, process, or system, as well as the engineering information that allows us to understand it, model it, and get its performance. Typically, digital twins can be synchronized from multiple sources, including sensors and continuous surveying, to represent its near real-time status. This synchronized data can be used to gain valuable insights to more fully understand the physical asset. Infrastructure Digital Twins, or iTwins, are emerging now because of a convergence of technologies that enable an immersive and holistic view of infrastructure. Now these include 3D and 4D visualization, reality modeling, mixed reality, and geotechnical engineering. Bentley's goal is to enable a digital twin ecosystem that will improve our understanding and transform the performance of the world's infrastructure. So as you heard from Bentley's Chief Product Officer, users are able to visualize and track changes, including changes in real-world conditions, allowing users to make better informed decisions, anticipate and avoid issues before they arise, and react more quickly with confidence, resulting in cost savings, improved service availability, and lower environmental impact and improved safety. But why is this all happening now? While infrastructure digital twins has become possible due to the convergence of 3D and 4D visualization, as Bupinda was mentioning, also the convergence of reality modeling, mixed or augmented reality, 
and geotechnical engineering, which enables immersive and holistic view of the infrastructure assets. A digital twin also incorporates different types of data, whether it's data from drawings, specifications, documents, analytical models, photos, reality meshes, sensor feed data, and then asset management data. But to really realize the potential of a digital twin, there needs to be a standardized framework to efficiently connect the different information systems. And Bentley has such an open, scalable cloud platform which users can build on. So starting with the planning phase, we can fly drones and we can generate high definition 3D reality models using Bentley's context capture. We can also do site servers, obviously, gathering design and geotechnical and environmental data. Here we can see an example of a high definition 3D reality model of an offshore platform generated using photogrammetry from a drone flyover capturing 400 high res photos. Intelligent object recognition like sensors or corrosion can easily be added to the reality model. Moving on to the design phase, we have powerful 3D modeling tools like OpenPlant and MicroStation to create an accurate 3D digital twin model. And we can see one of these models from a project in China at the Three Gorges region, uh, which was executed by SIDRI, which is Shanghai Investigation Design Research uh, Institute. So moving on to analysis, we do have analysis engineering simulation tools like SAX, Moses, and Plaxus that have been in the market for decades now, <clears throat> and we can design fixed and floating wind turbine platforms, taking care of the structural, geotechnical, hydrodynamic, or motion, and turbine aeroelastic loading conditions. We also have new integrated um, solutions for offshore foundations I mentioned earlier, using SACS for proven structural design, Plaxus 3D for subsea foundations and soil stability, and the many foundations that we can design, monopiles, gravity-based foundations, mud mats, suction anchors, and suction buckets can all be designed. In fact, suction bucket foundations are starting to gain more interest with the potential cost savings in the millions. So let's take a look at this in action. Open Wind Power provides a comprehensive set of capabilities for the design and analysis of offshore wind turbine structures subject to wave, wind, and mechanical loading. Open Wind Power is used for the design and analysis of fixed monopile and jacket supported wind turbines and floating semi-submersible and sparse systems. All modules work from common model data created with the inbuilt modeling tools. The hydrodynamic analysis of floating turbine foundations are calculated with MOSES, accounting for the complex mooring layout. The resulting accelerations, RAOs, and time history panel pressures can then be seamlessly exported from MOSES to SACS for a complete structural assessment. For offshore engineers working with wind turbine structures, Open Wind Power's smooth integration with industry standard solvers like GH Bladed and FAST ensures fully coupled combinations of wind and wave loads for detailed assessment of fatigue life, meet structural compliance of offshore wind foundation structures using the comprehensive built-in code checking to numerous current and past international codes, including API, AISC, CISC-ICCA, BSI, ISO, 
Eurocode, and Norsoc. For turbine monopile design, the new SACS integration with Plaxis Modato using the PISA-2 design methods provides up to 20% higher design capacity and potential 30 to 40% savings in installed costs. With intuitive modeling and analysis workflows, open wind power is easy to learn and applies across the life cycle of wind turbine platforms from fabrication, installation, and in-place condition through to decommissioning. Moving on to construction, I mentioned earlier about 4D simulation for construction design. So let's look at Synchro 4D in action, where you can run time-based simulations on construction sequences to avoid risk, ensure safe workspaces, while managing project costs. So our team embraces it and loves it and wants to do as much of it as possible. The ability to see, to edit and to optimize every moment of time, minute by minute and day by day, in both space and time, builds the participation and understanding necessary for a successful project performance. From tendering through construction, commissioning and handover. And then lastly, operations and maintenance. It's all about having a high fidelity and a rich asset management system, which is connected to the digital twin and using Bentley's tools like Asset Reliability for continuous monitoring and maintenance planning of the asset, like the turbine blades or gearbox, or even just monitoring corrosion or movement of the structural platform. Other tools like PlantSite for executive level, operator level view of the asset performance. So if we look at the asset performance management system, it can be used to drive down operation and maintenance costs. And we can look at that in action as well. The growing complexity of assets, structures, systems, and components is driving the need for more efficient processes and integrated asset performance solutions. Bentley's Asset Performance Management Solution helps you achieve your business goals with a risk-based approach to asset management. Aging infrastructure and high operational costs are increasing the challenges owner-operators face to deliver safe, reliable, compliant, and cost-effective service. Leveraging 30 years in design and visualization innovations, Bentley is at the forefront of engineering software. Combining reality modeling with accurate and trusted asset engineering information and advanced reliability and operational analytics, Bentley delivers a connected data environment to manage assets throughout their entire life cycle. Turn existing paper-based inspections into digital and mobile inspections that can be spatially navigated and consistently performed by inspectors. Consolidate and analyze historical and real-time data so you can make informed operational and maintenance decisions. Configurable dashboards provide visibility to overall asset health and condition degradation trends, as well as leading process and lagging results metrics. So let's take a look at a couple of projects. Here's the, the Three Gorges project that I mentioned earlier where they, um, it was the very first anti-ice flow offshore wind project in China with a 70% efficiency gain, shortening the project by three man months. A project out of South Korea by Zentech Engineering, they were able to show they could reduce the structural weight and save 20% of the construction time on the actual wind turbine platform itself. Keystone Engineering adapted a deep water jacket type structure, which they used in the oil industry, and they shortened their design cycle by 50% designing five six megawatt wind turbine platforms and this is the very first offshore wind farm at Block Island in, in America. The very first commissioned wind farm in the UK was the London Array which uh, was designed using sacks by Cowie. And Ecofus owns and operates a wind test site in the Netherlands with a capacity of nine two and a half megawatt turbines onshore, of course. But they were able to show an estimated cost saving of over four million dollars in over a 20 year period using asset management. So thank you for attending and please check out our Bentley virtual exhibition booth.